Hello, my name's Chris. I'm a member of Unite Community, part of Unite the Union. A traditional trade union looks after the interests of its members in work, but that leaves out a large proportion of our adult population. This is where Unite the Community section comes in. We offer Unite membership to the unemployed, to students and retired people with most of the benefits apart from workplace representation. There are Unite community branches all over the country. Our branch covers Amber Valley and Derbyshire Dales and includes the towns of Ashbourne, Alfreton, Belper, Hena, Matlock, Ripley and all the areas in between. We bring people together from all walks of life to campaign for a society that places equality, dignity and respect above all else. It's up to our members to decide what we campaign for. This has included campaigning about the changes to the NHS that affect our community, like the closures of Babington Hospital in Belper and ward closures at Ilkeston Hospital. Another ongoing campaign is around the problems caused by universal credit, the increased use of food banks and homelessness. Our branch puts on events that entertain, educate and deliver a community message. We brought events like the acclaimed opera Rousey Women to Belper and a sellout performance of Peggy Seeger at Worksworth Town Hall. Unite Community Membership is just £2.38 a month. Join online at join.unitestheunion Dot org, or for more information, email unite.ambervalley at gmail.com. Thank you for listening. Fliss Goldsmith and here it is again as sure as the day ending in a Y coming up for air is with you once more. So we are aiming to bring you some much needed entertainment in these trying and difficult times. On coming up for air for today we have a short talk about the welcome meal at number 28 by Charlotte West Orlam. The Welcome Meal will take place on the fourth Friday of every month and aims to start again when things are a little more safer and certain. Then there will be a brief talk on the Black Lives Matter movement, all about how to be a good ally. We as white people can't speak for those who are affected, but we absolutely can learn how best to support those who identify as members of the BIPOC community and we can listen and we can act accordingly. Then it will be time for some top tunes as we have much in the way of music this week. We'll start with Nick Glyn Davis, who is from Patron Sait, who will also be featuring later in the show. Then it's the fabulous Phil Dolman, who will swiftly be followed by Jack's Got a Plan. And I wish he'd share it with me because I've got absolutely none. Uh, and then finally, we have the whole lineup of the awesome aforementioned patron saint. 
the Unite community tries to be open-minded and give the good people of Belper and the surrounding areas a voice. And you'll be glad to know, not just my voice, because you might get quite tired of that. So I have just one more thing to say, and it is quite a poignant one. So, friends, Belptonians, country folk, lend me your ears and possibly your beers. Payments in pints, always very, very welcome. On Sunday, the 5th of July, our NHS will be 72 years old. Now, despite 10 years of underfunding, fragmentation and privatisation, the NHS staff, other carers and key workers have put themselves in jeopardy to take care of us all during the COVID crisis. So, on Saturday the 4th of July from 11am until 1pm there will be a Derbyshire motorcade. It's going from Derby to Chesterfield and it will pass through Belper where people from Erewash and Matlock will join us to celebrate those workers and to campaign to fully fund and reinstate the NHS. Will you join us? Safe and socially distanced. You can make your own placards and display them in your car. Details of meeting places will be available early next week. Also, have a look at details of Sunday's online public meeting and the 5pm clap. Now, there should be a web address appearing down here somewhere if marvellous Marcus has done his technological wizardry or something like that. Um, so yes, let's do our bit to show the NHS carers and key workers that we care too. So with that wonderful watchers, it's time for me to say goodbye and enjoy the show. The Welcome Meal was created to unite our Belper community by coming together to share a simple meal. Our aim is to attract anyone experiencing loneliness and those suffering the effects of austerity for a good meal and an opportunity for social interaction. Our first event at the end of February was a success, but the coronavirus put the kibosh on our planned future events. The volunteers are disappointed that the cafe cannot operate at the moment but rest assured that as soon as it's possible to open up and welcome people to number 28, we will. As before, it will take place on the fourth Friday of every month. Aprons and smiles at the ready. We'll have our choice of three homemade soups, which will always include a vegan option, homemade bread, puddings, tea or coffee, all for a donation of between one and five pounds. Pay what you can afford. The clue is in the title, Welcome Meal. Of course, we'll socialise and eat, even if it is at a two metre distance. In the meantime, the donations we received for the February meal have been given to the Belper Food Bank. So keep safe, keep well, and we'll see you at number 28 soon. Today I wanted to talk about how to be a good ally. An ally is a person who supports a group of marginalised or oppressed people but does not belong to said group. So a white person supporting black rights, a straight person supporting LGBTQ plus rights. So if you are a person who sympathises with some of these causes but you're like, I don't know how to help, I'm not oppressed, I'm gonna help you help gonna be great. Number one, check your privilege. There are lots of different types of privilege. Um, I personally have white, straight, able-bodied cis privileges and maybe some others that I can't even think of because I'm so privileged it doesn't affect me. 
That's not meant to, that sounds weird, doesn't it? I'm so privileged. Privilege doesn't mean that you've not had your fair share of hardships and struggles in life. It simply means that there are some things that you will never have to think about just because of the way that you are. Understanding your own privileges can help you empathize with marginalized or oppressed groups. And we love empathy. Empathy is great. Empathy is so in right now. Stop trying to make empathy happen, Gretchen. No. Yes, Gretchen, make empathy happen. What is happening? Number two, listen, AKA, shut up. Maybe I think I'm being a good ally by saying things like, black people think that blah, 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 and trans people feel like blah, 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 blah. How do I know? I need to stop talking and listen to the people who belong to these groups about how they think and feel about their experiences. And instead of speaking for them, you can use your position of privilege to share their stories and amplify their voices. Number three, educate. Do your research. Your friends aren't going to want to keep explaining to you how and why that they're oppressed. So show your commitment to the cause by doing your own research. Read some books, read some articles, watch some YouTube videos. Number four, you do not belong in the spotlight. Thank you so much. I would like to thank the patriarchy, homophobia, racism, transphobia for the opportunity to show the world that I really am a good person. When equality wins, you will not receive an Oscar for best performance, but you might be nominated for best supporting performance. Your role is to support, care, help, and listen. Number five, no breaks. Oppression takes no breaks. You can't hide under your comfy duvet of privilege when you don't want to engage. The trick of being a good ally is to always be there for the people who need the support. You know what guys, I'll sit this one out, you go ahead. Number six, focus on those with a shared identity. This does not mean stick to your own kind, separate but equal, oh no, 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 no. This means taking the things that you've learned and sharing them with other people from your privileged group. So men talk to men about feminism, white people talk to other white people about racism, straight people talk to straight people about LGBTQ plus issues, you get it. Because you have that privilege, it puts you in a good position to recruit more allies. Number seven, learn to apologize. You will need this skill because you are probably going to mess up. If someone calls you out on something you did or said wrong, listen to them, Say that you're sorry and promise not to do it again. It's that easy. Thanks for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and let me know in the comments if you have any other tips on how to be a good ally that I may have missed. This video was in collaboration with the charity Moral Courage. I did a video on their channel about how to call your friends out when they make sexist jokes. So I'll leave a link in the description and also there'll be a link at the end of this video for you to go and check out. I hope that you are well and I'll see you soon. Bye. Blessed be the weight 
that's in my home Nearly found a word to receive my home Blessed be the way that's in my home War in the north when the sea arose I can run as far as I can see Now containing like a plaything All this song to make a memory Some feathers off the show now And make you slow down And on the road to where you were complete So I just lay back in my ignorance Take the path Blessed be the way that's in my home Nearly found a word to receive my own Blessed be the way that's in my home War in the north, now the sea I grow Blessed be the way, blessed be the way